everyone. Good evening. Good evening, students. Welcome to the sixth, seventh, and eighth channel of Byju's. All of you are the champions, and I'm your teacher, Ankita. Good evening, and hi to each one of you. Good evening, Geeta, Creative Minds, Neha, Sabhangiri, Harj, Harpal, Harpaj, Harjap. Sorry for that. Deepa, Krishna, Andu. Gargi, Nitya, Zarina, Ayushi, Palak, Jansi, Usha, Mayang. Good evening. Yes, Raj, Tanishka, Sanju, Manjit, Kanti. Okay, now it's very difficult. Yes, Pratik, Ekta. I'm good. Thank you for asking, Palak. How are you? Yes, today is quiz. Today is quiz. Hi Harsimran, good evening. Yes. Good evening, good evening everyone. Hi. Good. Hi Dia, welcome. Hi Usha. Yes. Good evening everyone. Good to see all of you here. Now today is a quiz time. Now I'm sure you have learned this chapter from Ashwarya ma'am. And ma'am have taken care of this particular chapter, right? I'm sure all of your doubts are cleared. And we'll be having a lot of fun in today's quiz. So quickly give us your thumbs up if you all are ready and we'll quickly start now. I want quick thumbs up from each one of you. We will be having the Menti quiz today. What you need to do, you need to open an, a new tab, right? Write www.menti.com and use the code 2456. Double zero three two. Hello. So there's a code which is running by the channel. You can see. So please note that code. It is two four five six double zero three two. I'll wait for just just for thirty seconds more, and we will start. Yes. Hi to each one of you. There are so many of you. I can't read all of all of your names, but I can see. So I really appreciate. For you to come into class and of course join this interesting and amazing quiz. Right? Awesome. Okay. Uh, so Mayank, you need to uh, join the quiz. Right? We'll be opening opening a new tab. You will type www.menti.com M-E-N-T-I.com When you arrive on the page, you'll be able to see that they're asking you for a code. Right? And the code is 24. Five six double zero three two. Now after that, they'll be giving you an icon, and of course that's you. And you need to give your correct name, and then you can join the quiz and participate. What you have to do in the menti, you knew you need to get the you need uh, you need to give the correct answer, and very quickly. Yes, of course, if you answer really very quickly, you'll be able to get more points. But I would suggest that each one of you who are very new, right? Please take your time and answer the correct. Now, please take your time and then only answer. Don't answer in a very quick way because what happens sometimes when we are trying to answer very fastly, yeah, we end up choosing the incorrect answer. Hi, Manas. Join, join, join. Very good. Awesome. So, we'll move, we'll move ahead. Right. And we'll see. So, we'll wait for the next page, everyone. Here we have, right, we are waiting for all of you. So let's see how many of you are here. And these are the icons we have. Right, I can see lots of join ma'am. So lots of thumbs up so over here we are. Right, and should we start the quiz now? Quickly tell me everyone. Yes. A quick thumbs up, you are fire. Okay, so where is fire? Okay, we can do this also. Ta -da 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 -da. We can just shuffle a little bit of these icons. Okay, I can see we are on the go. All the best, everyone, right? Remember, you need to answer the question correctly. And the faster you answer, the more points you will get. But important thing, focusing on the answering the correct, choosing the correct answer. Awesome, everyone. All the best. And let's see the first question over here. Here we go. We have 10 questions in, in total. And of course, we have first question. Leaves other than the green do not contain chlorophyll. Interesting, right? True as chlorophyll is a green in color. True as red color shows absence of chlorophyll. False as chlorophyll is present and masked by other pigments. Or false as chlorophyll is red color. 
leaves other than green color do not contain chlorophyll what do you think what is the reason behind it is it true or false and of course we have the reasons for it yes and the correct answer okay many of you got confused right leaves other than green do not contain chlorophyll they do contain chlorophyll but of course they are masked by the other pigments right there are other pigments also right so on that the correct option is option number c right over here and 18 of you have voted for the correct answer 22 of you got confused right and of course as the choice majority of you got confused so i hope that all of you are now clear right right now of course over here we have the answer slide for it and of course that will give you more clarity that leaves other than the green also have chlorophyll right and the large amount of red brown and other pigments will be masking the green color right so i i hope that you are taking a note of this and now i hope that this question is clear no issues if this question right uh, if you could not answer this question don't worry but now you know the correct answer yes the code is 5 uh, 2 4 5 6 0 0 3 2 yes uh iron study you need to go on menti.com and then you need to use the code 2456003 and then you will be able to participate in the quiz moving to the question number 2 everyone on your screen and here we go yes let's see this question and here we have the question number 2 yes let's see this question the first step in testing the importance of sunlight for photosynthesis is starching keeping under the sun covering the black paper covering with the black paper or de starching the first step in testing the importance of sunlight for photosynthesis i'm sure right ma'am had a detailed explanation about the experiments also right ashwara ma'am did the experiment classes also with you guys where ma'am explained you the different experiments right i'm sure you'll be able to pick the right answer very good very good and okay a tough fight mm. what happened over here 17 17 and 15 of you actually got confused and only five of you have voted for the correct answer the first step of course will be de starching right what is de starching anyone can you quickly tell me what is de starching de starching is nothing but keeping the plant in dark right once you will be keeping the plant in dark that is called de starching once you have kept the plant in the dark after right 3 days or 2 days then you will take the plants out and then keep it in the sunlight then of course you'll be covering with the black paper and of course that's how the further experiments will move so we got the correct answer over here and of course th these are the steps first of course de starching the plant then of course covering the leaf with the black paper right and third starch test on the leaf are we clear yes mr iron i cannot go back because of course that's the software that we are using it does not allow that you can after the recording you can go back and see or now also you can go quickly back and come here yes okay uh mr iron again you need to open the menti.com it's a new website right on a different tab use this code right that we have 2456003 and you will be able to answer the question very good so we are clear with this quickly a thumbs up everyone question number 2 is done quick thumbs up yes very good very good the leaderboard will come after certain set of questions so you need to wait for some time okay question number 3 on your screen here we go question number 3 on your screen yes i am white uh, it's a riddle i am white and soft i grow well in rainy season chicken uh, sorry children pluck me from the ground and admire me i absorb nutrient from the dead animals and plants white lotus mushroom pitcher plant or white marigold it's a very interesting riddle right i am white and soft i usually grow in the rainy season children will pluck me and of course admire me i take my nutrient from the dead plants and animals who am i i am 
mushroom very good everyone 42 42 of you have voted for the correct answer and the, the correct answer is mushroom sai uh, if you have just joined us you need to go on the menti.com you need to open a new tab write www.menti.com write and use the code 2456032 yeah sai for you have answered the question so very good everyone yay right answer and over here we have the answer mushroom right so we are clear with this right the mushrooms are the one uh, that uses the saprotrop uh, saprophytic mode of nutrition where of course they obtain the nutrient from the dead and decay animal yes it's mushroom over here very good everyone so we are clear right clear yes so look at this mushrooms right? they are really very special you can touch fungi yes you can yeah mushroom is a fungi you can touch mushroom very good so we clear are we clear with this right awesome okay can i ask you a very quick question right um, so the cricket season is there right how many of you love to watch cricket out of the context on the whole particular this right how many of you like watching cricket yes yes quickly tell me yeah brani yes bread fungi of course we don't me i can see a lot of lots and lots of me 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 so of course if you are a cricket lover this is for you we have special byju's scholarship test right if you write this test if you clear the rounds right then of course you can go to australia to watch the t20 world cup live right and of course you can meet right you will be actually seeing the indian cricket team playing their live so if you haven't register yourself go out and register now the registration is free of course right we have a detailed video on it we have a very detailed video on it that how we can you know how you can actually uh, register yourself what is the syllabus etc so the video is up there on the channel you can quickly go there out and check it out yes very good very good yes i can see a lot of excitement right so you can definitely register for this and now coming back to the menti yes here we have everyone question number 4 on your screen dilip uh, i'm sure the team will be able to talk to you about it and they'll be able to manage with uh, manage with that okay very good everyone question number 4 on your screen which of the following mineral is required by the plant in a large quantity chlorine phosphorus magnesium or the molybdenum right of course very easy very easy question out of these four which is which mineral is required in, by the plant in a large quantity quickly everyone it's a very easy question yes yes come on i'll not like i'll not able to answer now with the timer is running i can see many of you just giving the tukka okay let's see very good 33 of you have voted for the correct answer and the correct answer is phosphorus right so we talk about the important nutrient we have nitrogen phosphorus potassium carbon right hydrogen and oxygen all of these are really very very important for the plants so here we have the correct answer which is the phosphorus moving to question number 5 right Here we go. Question of five, everyone, on your screen. I want all of you to be a little bit quick, right? Of course, it's a wrap. It's kind of a quiz, so I can see that all of you are really very quick. So let's see. The right set of the saprotrophic organism is okay. Here we have leech, lice, mushroom, mushroom, bread, mold, bread mold, and yeast. Yeast, tapeworm, and leech. Leech. Oh, sorry. Uh, lice, yeast, and bread mold. right set of the saprotrophic mode of nutrition or the organisms that uses this particular mode of nutrition of course we know that this is a very special type of nutrition mode right where the organisms take the food from the dead and decay animals and the plants very good everyone so mushroom bread mold and yeast very good and over here we have the correct answer now these obtain the nutrient from the dead and decay dead basically dead plants and animals very good very good congratulations to each one of you awesome 
So let's see, move ahead. Do you think we'll have the leaderboard now? What do you think? Do you think that we'll have the leaderboard now? Yes, yes, very good, correct. Yes. Shreyasi, Usha, Tanishka, Atifa, Kanti, Srihinata, Dilip Raj, Dilip Kumar. Okay, yeah, yeah I can see. Harjap, Sindhu, Rani, Raj. Okay. So let's see if we have the leaderboard or not. Okay, we have the leaderboard. Yay, we have the leaderboard now. Yes, Manjot. Mr. Iron, Aisha. Here we have the leaderboard. The fastest is Chinmaya. Then we have Akskin. Okay. Askin high and five. Oh, is it high five, ma'am? High five. Please, you should have write your you should write your real name. Then we have Cookies Cream. Then we have Yash, Juhi, Krishnendu. We have Ayushman, Apsara, Namanan, and Rhea. Very good. Very good, everyone. Claps, 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 claps. So five questions are done, five more to go. So very good, everyone. Right, all of you who are here and participating in the quiz, all the best. And of course, you're doing amazing. Important thing for all of us to focus is that we are looking for the correct answer. We need to understand the question. And I want you to answer the question correctly. Right? Very good. And so let's move ahead, right? We'll move now to question Number six, Ashok, I hope that you have joined the Menti quiz. Go on www.menti.com. Use the code 245600 and 32. Let's move to question number six. Here we go, question number six. I am a product of photosynthesis. Very important. I am a product of photosynthesis and I turn blue if, I, if mixed with brown liquid in the lab. Okay. Who am I? Starch, oxygen, chlorophyll, and water. Easiest, right? Look at this. A very easy, interesting question. I'm a product of photosynthesis. I turn blue if I mixed with the brown liquid in the lab. Hmm. Who am I? Yes. Your robot. Okay. Starch. Okay. Easy peasy and very good. Starch is the correct answer. 39 of you have voted for the correct answer. 213 and one of you got confused with oxygen, chlorophyll and what does it chlorophyll? Of course, it's green color, right? Of course, think about it, right? I'm a product of photosynthesis. So after the photosynthesis reactions, right, the product that we get is glucose and the glucose gets stored in the form of starch. So of course, when we talk about it, right, and if we have to test the presence of starch, we will take a leaf and of course, if you add the iodine solution, we'll see that it, it will turn to blue-black, right? So we're here. Now, definitely it tells the presence of the chlorophyll. But of course, uh, this particular, the product that we're looking for is the starch. Very good, very good. So starch is the answer. Now, moving to question number seven. Yes. Very good, Kavita. No issues. Uh, Pratik, Namrata, Rupa. It's okay, Rupa. No issues. Very good. Sindhubai. Very good. Yes, Raj. I can see. Thumbs up and smileys. Right. Let's see question number seven, everyone. On our screen. And here we go. Question number seven. Going ahead. We have the Baijus mini learning program. You can avail this particular program, right? And of course, you can use the code YT first. And like the first 500 user will be able to actually avail this program for absolutely free, right? So don't wait for it. Quickly go use the code YT free. The link is in the description box below. Click on the link and go ahead. Very good. Now, last questions, last two questions. Question number eight on your screen. Yes. Here we go. Uh, chlorophyll is present inside the. Chlorophyll is, is present inside the stromata, chloroplast, nucleus and ribosomes. Yes. Very good, very good. So chlorophyll is present inside the stromata, chloroplast, nucleus or ribosome. I 
I can see that all of you have voted and 37 of you have voted for the correct answer. So the chloroplast is present in the, sorry, the chlorophyll is present in the chloroplast, right? And of course, it is a site of photosynthesis also. So congratulations to each one of you. Moving to the question number 9 very quickly. Very good. So we are very close to the last question. Here we go. I came out first from the seed. When it is soaked in the water, I provide anchorage to plants. Who am I? Easy, right? Cotton, stems, root or chlorophyll. Yes. Easy peasy, right? It's a very easy question. I am, I came out, I came out first from the seed when it's soaked in water. I provide anchorage to plants. Who am I? I am, I am the, I am the root. Yes, 29 of you have voted for the correct answer. Oh, I can see 13 of you have voted for the cotyledons and seven, 11 of you have voted for stem. See, anchorage. So the anchorage is being provided by the roots, right? They are the one that goes inside the soil and actually hold the plants upright. Yes, so that's really important. So that the correct answer is roots. Very good, everyone. Moving to the last question. Yes, last question of today's class. Here we have the last question. Let's see. And here we go. The bacteria involved in nitrogen fixation is. Which bacteria is involved in nitrogen fixation? Legume, rhizobium, azole, or all of the above. Easy question, right? Okay, my uncle, but I don't want to try that out. Yeah. Very good. Very good. I can see. Oh, the bact we have to name the bacteria only. I can see many of you are voting for the wrong option. In, you need to name the bacteria and 45 of you have voted for the correct answer. That's good. Very good. The correct answer is the rhizobium, right? And that's a bacteria that actually help in the fixation, right? And of course, it is present inside the root nodules of the leguminous plants. Yes? Very good. Of course, over here we see the symbiosis. Basically, both of them help each other. Yes. Awesome. With that, we are done. And we'll have the leaderboard now with us. Here we have the leaderboard. And let's see, let's see who's the fastest one. So we have Naman, who is the fastest. Then we have Chinmaya, Cookie. Then we have Krishnendu. We have, okay, I can't see the name. Smrita Jha, I guess. It's covering. Uh, then we have MJ, I think Maurya, Ayush, Yash, and Pratik. Congratulations, everyone. Very, very good. That's very good. Congratulations to each one of you. And with that, we are, we are done with our Menti Quiz for the Nutrition and Animal, right? And let's quickly talk about our family. So you know that our family is growing, right? And of course, there are more and more subscribers that are joining us. And of course, apart from that, we have a Telegram community also. So you can ask your parents to join this community. And of course, you'll be getting the session notes, updates, homework questions. And of course, every Friday you can meet your teachers also at 3 p.m. So, link of the group is in the description box below. So, click on that and join it. Then, of course, you know that we have got you covered. And don't forget to hit the like button. Share with your friends and subscribe to this amazing channel. It will not be costing anything. Rani, the joining of the Telegram group is absolutely free. Yes. I hope that you have enjoyed the session in the comment section below. You can mention, right? You can write the comments. Did you like the session? Yes. That's very good, everyone. Awesome. So we'll be meeting next time, right? And uh, all the best, everyone. I hope that you have enjoyed the class. And I hope that you have taken note of the questions. Yes. Lots of love and keep on learning with Baijus. Meet you in the next class. Bye-bye.